I'm Chris from Dashboard Confessional, and I'm here to talk about some of my fractal sounds. My favorite sound of the moment is this uh, glass sound that we've got kind of going on. A lot of chorus, and I can cover a lot of territory on this one as a rhythm player. But then I've got this grit glass sound, which is like my distort, I like my like, light distortion, slight distortion sound on the top of it. It's, it's so meaty. It's becoming some place I go to now as I'm writing stuff. <laughs> It's got, it's got long legs, as I like to say about some of these sounds. It's kind of like if I had one sound that I could use in place of any solo sound if I wanted a different, like just rounder kind of tone, less, less abrasive. Single note, sounds nice. But I could play like accompanying chords within it. Got enough room for the, the melody to stand out. Well, the lead part just kind of hangs out and the melody kind of does its own work. You hear every string with this grit glass sound that, that, that we made, but also what you hear too is like a little bit of attitude. It can either be dreamy and, and blend in or it can, be, it can be all attitude, punk rock. I play the solo in Vindicated and I do it, I don't think there really is one on the record. Um, I know there isn't one on the record, but we've put this little Weezer nod in the end of it because of, uh, they were the first band, big band, really big band that ever took us out. And uh, they were the first ones to take a shot on us. So we, we kind of have a little thank you in there. <laughs> A lot of my songs have like a tight, modern sound that I'm going for, uh, like Saints and Sailors. It's just dirty enough. I can, without having to go for a volume pedal, it can cascade all on its own, and that way I can do the business of kind of like hyping a crowd up or whatever, or being hyped by the crowd, to be honest with you, and interacting a bit, and not have to leave my, like, you know, my domain. So on. And that's just how my grit sound, um, but sometimes I have this less, slightly less distorted version of that. It feels like a, if I had a Rickenbacker in my hands or something to me. And it gives me one place to step up when I get to a chorus without going full blown. I can go to the grit and go.
This is my standard lead sound, sound that I go to. Every now and again, I'll replace that with that grit glass sound just for a little vibe. <laughs> But as the rhythm guy, what I like better, I'm mainly the rhythm player of this band, as, uh, as everybody knows. I use some decorative effects. Good Fight has, uh, was recorded originally on um, acoustic guitar. It really has this, uh, well, fight in it. You know, it's got some, some teeth. So, but when I just played it clean, which I really do love the clean sound. But the consequence of that was just that I kind of wanted it to be acoustic. So once I switched it to this glass setting that we made. Some of the glassiness I just kind of roll off just for that specific song. So it's closer to clean with just a touch of that. But man, that's where I'm finding a lot of uh, fun things. It's like that place in between what I originally conceived as a snappy acoustic thing. We're kind of like taking some songs now that we've played traditionally as acoustic songs, like uh, Everyone Else Is Just Noise, which I'll play in a clean, you know. <laughs> It does sound great, maybe that's the choice, but if I go to that gl glass sound. You get a couple more options out of it. I'm not sure if that's where we'll land, but that's something we try a lot. Then we'll go to the grit glass. Yep, there's the answer. this one with all my different sounds and just I like the clean sounds so much that we made in a music shop I found this like cigarette Amplifier. It's like made out of a cigarette box, an actual one, and it sounds like trash in a great way. And I'll write these like kind of riffs on it sometimes. It doesn't sound great, but it sounds like linked to that riff now. The speaker has got to be like the size of a, it's smaller than like a coaster. But anyway, I haven't been able to make it sound like that into a track ever. Until now, we've, we've kind of built it. <laughs> Well, thanks for taking a look and listen to my fractal sounds, and I encourage you to go listen to Arm and Jay's because they're even cooler. And um, maybe come see us. We'll be out all year with County Crows across the USA and in Canada, later in the UK. Come see us.